I had originally thought that um, I will make a separate video about uh, voltmeters, galvanometers, ammeters. Then uh, I thought it's important to know the similarities and the differences between these three uh, instruments. Well, uh, strictly speaking, all these three instruments are ammeters. They measure current, right? This one, this one, and this one. Only this, we, this, both of these, you know that they both measure the current. You know about the galvanometer and the ammeter. Only the galvanometer is the center zero instrument, which um, uh, and it shows the direction whether it's this way or this way. This actually measures it. Now, strictly speaking, the voltmeter is also an ammeter. Only it has been calibrated to measure the voltage, right? And uh, that comes as part of uh, the conversion of galvanometer to ammeter, conversion of galvanometer to voltmeter. That that uh, it comes in that aspect. So uh, we will come back to that in detail. Now, what are the similarities here uh, between? In fact, if I keep these two here, you will notice that these two both have a plus and a minus. This is the plus and this is the minus. Whereas this doesn't have a plus or a minus. You can connect it any way you want. Uh, if the current is going in this way, uh, this will go this way. Current is going in the other direction, will go this way. That's the idea. But of course, depending on how you've connected, you can even invert the connection. Nothing will happen. If you invert the connection here or here, there's a good chance that you can spoil the instrument. So you have to be very, very careful while connecting voltmeter and ammeter. In a later video, I will uh, I will be talking about what are the precautions that you need to take uh, just to check if your connection is right. So without uh, spoiling the instrument, so to speak. Now, if you notice very carefully, you will see that uh, let's talk about galvanometer. So galvanometer measures the current that goes through it. I'm sorry, gal galvanometer detects the current that goes through it. Whether the current is going in from this to this or from this to if the current goes from here to here, it is moves this way. Here to here, it moves in the other direction. Now, very often you have to use the galvanometer to find the, the in fact, the only use of the galvanometer. Uh, in, in, in all the experiments that we do is to find something known as null deflection point. Null deflection point is that particular point the circuit is arranged in such a manner that no current will pass through this galvanometer. Right? That's the idea. When we see the uh, experiments we will we will get a better idea of what those things are. Now you may notice that this needle is not at zero. Right? And that's not a crisis as far as the galvanometer is concerned because a, a null deflection point, that is when the, no current passes through the galvanometer, is not a point where the needle is at zero. It is a point where the needle does not move at all. So if you look at this very carefully, you will see that uh, 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 this is not at zero, but there is a way of adjusting it if you want. And uh, while I show you how to adjust it, you have to make sure that this is not done uh, by yourself, that you must have it uh, done under the supervision of a teacher. So there is a screw here, which will help you adjust this to the value that you want. And this is true about these other meters as well, the ammeter and the voltmeter. This, is, this looks okay. This voltmeter, you can see that it's way off. And then you just turn this and bring this to zero now this comes uh, brings me to a very important aspect of taking readings if you notice you will see that there is a mirror at the background if you can see it will see the reflection of my finger or this 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 screwdriver you will see right now let's see the uh, uh, now how do you take the reading you want to take the reading so that this red tip of this needle you must take it in such a manner that you do not see the reflection of that needle. That is to say, see, if you look like this, you can see the reflection of the needle there. Now, this is not a, this means you, there is parallax in taking the reading. So you need to turn it to such a point where you do not see that mirror. And that's when you know that you're, you're reading, you're looking at it to take the reading right. So when you look at it that way, you will get a zero. Maybe you I mean, you have to adjust it with the camera. You see there look at that here you see the reflection this way also you see the reflection there but if you keep it like this you don't see the reflection. so the point is you keep it here you move your eye in such a manner that you don't that you look straight down that is the eye this needle and its reflection must all line a same straight line 
that is when uh, you are taking the reading correctly right that's the way and it that is true for all these three instruments you can see those mirrors at the back of all these instruments have that mirror at the back okay right so a galvanometer used for measuring uh, i mean sorry uh, for finding the direction of current and primarily used for finding the point uh, finding that particular situation where there is no current passing through and this we will come to is a very important aspect of all of the practicals that we do now you want to connect the ammeter in such a manner that the plus of the ammeter is connected to the uh, positive side of the battery that is to say if you look at say for instance if you look at this this diagram this uh, circuit diagram you want to see, see this ammeter is here plus and minus right this is plus the red is plus black is minus now this is the positive side so you want to make sure that this positive side is connected to the positive of the ammeter so this will now be the positive of the ammeter that will be this one right and this side is the negative side and so you want to make sure that the negative terminal is connected here right you may look at it and put plus here and minus here that would be wrong this is the plus side of it and this is the minus side of it same works for the voltmeter as well right same works for the voltmeter as well this is the plus side of the voltmeter and the other side is the negative side the other side is the is the negative side that's the idea okay so this is the way this is the way the connections need to be made um, if you want to uh, yeah i think i will stop here